Hey, Andy Edmondson here for Digi Pro Tips, and I'm out and about today because I've got something for you. I'm going to show you how you can get DSLR grade footage from your phone. From your phone. It's going to look something like this. Okay, okay, how do we do this? How can I get that sort of footage from my phone? Well, let's jump into what's called the Filmic Pro app and I can show you exactly how. Okay, so we're inside Filmic Pro app now and you can see we have a little ring here in the middle left which is our auto exposure ring. As you can see when I move this around. On the right of that is a dashed box which is our auto focus. As you can see moving around changes the focus and the exposure. Now, if you don't want auto exposure or auto focus, you can swipe in from the left or the right to bring up the manual controls. There you go, you can see them. As you can see, if you slide the ring, then it will change the ISO and the shutter speed. To change just one of the values, slide it to a position that you want and then click it and it will go red. And then you can just change the other value. Similarly, if you're happy with an exposure in the auto focus mode, you can click the ring once you've found the right exposure and that will turn red too. On the right hand side we have our focus ring which does the same as the left hand side ring it changes your focus it's important to know here the limitations of your phone's aperture i'm using an iphone x which has an aperture of f 2.2 you can also expand the autofocus and auto exposure areas to cover the whole screen by double tapping them and they will enlarge and turn red you can then click them or unclick them to make sure that they are locked or unlocked however you see fit double tapping them brings them back down to the smaller area again. Now as for the rest of the settings, that's in this little cog button on the bottom right here, I'll show you, where we have access to resolutions and depending on your phone you can do anything from 720 to 4K and also the frame rates depending on your phone again, I can go all the way up to 240 frames per second but only in HD. You can also change the bit rate in the resolution settings as well. Here in the audio settings, you can choose any of the adapters that you have for audio recording. At the moment, I don't have any attached, so it's just showing me the iPhone microphone. I can also change the recording format of that audio too. You've also got options of where to save your videos. You can save them direct to the camera roll or just into the app itself. And from there, when you access your recordings, you can share them to all the different locations that you may wish. You can save a preset of these settings and you can also slate the takes with whatever name that you desire. An interesting setting here is the hardware setting where you can tell the app if you're using a DJI Osmo for example or a moment lens. Depending on what phone you've got when you access the camera settings here you can choose different lenses. Here I've got wide, tele, zoom and selfie. When you're not in selfie mode there is also stabilization that you can add as well. Here you can see the zoom slider in effect using the zoom lens. Back to wide. And that's pretty much it for the settings. Down the bottom here, you've got a histogram, time code, RGB waveform, and RGB histogram. If you hit that little A down the bottom, then you can access your zebra, um, your false color, and your focus assist. It's very handy indeed and dragging the exposure ring and the focus area around will give you different results depending on what you need. Over in the far left bottom corner, we have access to our white balance. And here you can see all of the different modes that you would normally find in the center camera, including auto white balance. The tab underneath that, depending on whether you want to go for the in-app purchase, will let you have access to a range of different shooting styles. We've got natural, dynamic, flat, and this is the one that is paid for, it's log. You can shoot log in your phone. Underneath that, you have access to your saturation, vibrance, and noise reduction settings. Um, back up a, one more tab, and you can actually change the shadows, midtones, and highlights input for that setting. You also have your audio monitors there on the far right. So that's it. Let's hit record, and then to access your recordings, you hit that little play button on the bottom right, and that will show you your recordings there. If you click the little tick box, and then click your video, you can share it to wherever you need.
If you enjoyed that video or found it useful in any way, then hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give us a comment or a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.